Hello everybody, this is Paul Nisa with Torah Life Ministries. I have some questions here. Uh, somebody asked me, uh, first they asked me, they, but they say basically they have three questions. They say they're a Gentile. Uh, they don't necessarily want to become Jewish, but uh, they saw the message about the scriptures and about Israel and becoming part of Israel. And, and they're pretty much asking what they have to do. And the first question they're asking is about the name Yahshua, because some people spell it Y-A-H, starting off with, and some people they'll spell it uh, Y-E-S-H-U-A. Uh, and so he's asked me, what's the correct spelling? And that depends who you're going to ask. There's no uh, uh, one defined answer that everyone believes is the correct way. I use Y-E-S-H-U-A. Uh, I know a lot of people y use Y-A-H-S-H-U-A. And, uh, you know, it's pronounced pretty much the same way. And in Hebrew, each word has a meaning. So the meaning of the word Yeshua is Yahweh's salvation or the salvation of Yahweh. Uh, because the meaning of the word fits the title or fits the, 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 the job of the person. And so it's uh, the salvation of Yahweh. That's Yeshua. So you could say Yahshua or Yahshua. And uh, people pronounce it different ways. Uh, but we know one thing for certain, his name isn't Jesus. And we also know that uh, the spelling has uh, is starting with a Y. And so the spelling might be different. There are many other or several other different ways people might uh, write it and even, even, even say it and pronounce it. The same thing with our Creator's name, Yahweh. Some people say, uh, say it in different ways. Uh, but we know that he has a name. And uh, we know it's not uh, God, which is a title, or Lord, which is a title, but it's a name, Yahshua and Yahweh. Now, uh, there are some people like Jehovah Witnesses that will say uh, Jehovah or, or so on. Well, the letter J wasn't in uh, the English language until uh, about 200 and something years ago. So we know that uh, these weren't correct. And some people mistakenly say, well, that's just a translation of his name. Look. I'm not a, a world scholar when it comes to different languages, but I know when you translate Yeshua into English, you get Joshua. You don't get Jesus. Uh, so, so, you know, the way to pronounce the name or the way to spell the name, that doesn't matter as long as you're trying to use the real name that you know best to your studies is his name. And I think you'll be okay either way writing it and, and pronouncing it uh, slightly different, but still realizing and acknowledging that he has a name and a title and a, and a job, and, and, and that's what it is. Uh, somebody said, so the same question says, uh, Can I convert to Messianic Judaism and, uh, and be 100% Jewish? Well, uh, it depends what you define as Jewish, because there are some people say they're from the lost tribes of of Israel and, and, and one of those lost tribes might be uh, other than the Jewish people or perhaps maybe they're one of the lost Jewish people. I know a lot of people say, well, I have Jewish blood in me. Uh, it might be a slight amount of Jewish blood, but somebody in my uh, ancestral line, there was Jewish in me or, or there's Jewish blood. Well, really, folks, it's a heart thing. It's not a blood thing. You know, if your heart's in the right place, you are Israel. If your heart's in the right place, you're 100% for Yahweh, you are a believer in Yeshua. It doesn't matter where you came from, it matters where you're going. And this is what we need to focus on, and I believe too many people focus on uh, on the past. Because I know a lot of people that are 100% Jewish, and they can care less about Yahweh and Yeshua. Uh, but I know people that definitely don't have Jewish blood. And I have such a passion and desire to fulfill the guidelines and instructions of our Creator. And I think that is a wonderful thing and, and what we should really be focusing on. Again, it doesn't matter where you came from, folks. It matters where you're going. And I think that's an important message we need because too many people are focused on, uh, but I'm from here or I have this blood and, and so on. And it's a wonderful thing. I feel blessed that I have Jewish blood. I feel blessed that I am Jewish. That doesn't make me any different, folks, than the average person who has such a passion for Yahweh and, 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 and a strong desire to fulfill His commandments. Uh, and if it matches my desire, that's great. We're brothers. And, uh, you know, whether it's my blood or their blood, it's still the same red blood. 
and we all bleed the same color as we say you know and a lot of people might get upset looking at this or saying how dare you say that because uh, you know you as a Jewish person should not say we're all equal well look Yahweh sees our hearts and he wants our passion for him he wants us to live a life fulfilling his guidelines and instructions or at least desiring to do so and not loving living against them so again you know if you know in my understanding of the scriptures and of everything it doesn't matter where we came from it matters where we're desiring to go and i know again people uh, have differences of opinions like that they think uh, if you're not jewish or not of jewish blood you're a second class citizen and uh, that's not the message of yeshua that i see folks and if you uh have an issue with that well then go listen to somebody else but this is the message and this is what yeshua spoke about and and that's it and so my answer to you is you don't have to be 100 percent jewish whether by blood or by tradition or by any of that no you need to look at the scriptures you need to follow the scriptures and fulfill what you can of the scriptures not based on what you want to do but based on what you are capable of doing so there's, there's many different commandments there's many different instructions in the bible and we can't fulfill all of them today and there's some that are guidelines and instructions for women, but I'm a man, so I can't fill them for women. There are some for for the farmers. I'm not a farmer, but but I am a man, and I can fulfill a good amount of them. And for me to ignore and or even say that I don't have to, you know, they say uh, you know to know good and not do it to him it is sin. So some people say, well, if I didn't know I should be doing that, well, am I still sinning if I'm doing that? Well, you should know because we're required to read his word. And understand who he is and understand what he's about so folks we have the opportunity we have the information you don't need to go into a mega church and listen to some uh, some smiling pastor you know who's just taking your money and doing what who knows what with it no you need to be following the word and if somebody's gonna call you legalistic for following the guidelines and instructions folks take that as a compliment because if you're doing so well that you're that they're noticing good job Okay, uh, we just need to remember uh, the goal is Yeshua Messiah here. It's not about, uh, you know, doing this because we, 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 we have to. It's about doing this because we want to, because he said it, because we have faith in who he is, and we want to follow his guidelines and instructions. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. Until then, have a great day, and shalom, shalom. Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world. Oh.